hi everyone and welcome back to our crafting tutorial series. In this series we've been creating a crafting system. Currently we've got it set up so that in our game we can pick up items which we can see in our inventory and I can craft this item by hovering over it and pushing the E key. It's checking for if I have the right recipe, the three plants, but at the moment it's not taking away the plants. So in this episode we're going to go through the process of removing these items from our inventory if the craft is successful anyway. So for that we need to go into where we are doing the crafting which is in the crafting menu. And the crafting recipe uh, code and all that is happening here and so we've got add to inventory happening there. After we add to inventory what we need to do is also remove from inventory. So grab from here, do remove from, sorry not grab from there, grab from inventory component, remove from inventory And we want to remove all the items that were used during the recipe. Now for this, it could be quite lengthy. So what might be best is actually creating a new function. Because we could have something that uses loads of items to craft it. So we can go remove crafted crafter ingredients, we call it. And the input for this is going to be item uh, parent. I oh, know we call it recipe, sorry. Ingredients. And the type is item parent. Class reference. And a map. And the second part of the map is going to be an integer. And for this, we're going to get the keys. And with the keys, we'll do a for each loop. And for each of the items in our ingredients list, we're going to remove them from the inventory. So we can go and get our player character, get inventory component, and remove from inventory. The item removed comes from the array element, but the quantity comes from the value here. So I'm going to drag down here and do find. And the array element is going to go into the find. And it's going to output the quantity that's required in our ingredients. Drag that into quantity. And that's it. It's going to remove it from inventory. Click compile. And go back to your event graph. So now we can use that function here. Instead of using just the remove from inventory. It does require the ingredients list. So find your ingredients list from the crafting recipe here and drag it up, hit compile, push play and if I pick up all three I can craft and you can see it takes away the three however we're not done because if I push E again you can see it goes into negative values so this is obviously not correct so our query is not working as intended so let's go into our inventory component and fix that query inside your query inventory the error comes from this greater than or equal to. These are around the wrong way. My apologies, it should be this way around. Because you're checking whether or not the current value we've got in our inventory is greater than the current value that we want us to check against. So compile that and push play. If I pick up one and I push the E key to craft, it doesn't craft it. But if I go around and pick up three, which is its ingredients, it'll craft it. And there you go. And it won't craft anymore. The next thing we're going to fix is make it so that when the value is zero, we're going to change the opacity of our image here so it's greyed out almost. So let's go and go through that process. So in my inventory slot UI, I'm going to go into graph and I'm going to find where I update the text. So the text here, quantity text, is here. And this is where I'm going to change things up. So, on the find, we're going to drag this out and check whether or not this is uh, greater than zero. Put that into a branch. And plug that in. If it's greater than zero, fine, carry on. If it's not greater than zero, we want to change the opacity of the image. So drag item thumbnail out, which is get, and set opacity. 
and the opacity I'm going to set is going to be 0 0.4. Drag that out and connect it back to the cast. So that's that little deviation away. So now if I go push play again, so now if I go and pick up items, you can see the medicinal is grayed out. Pick up the plants, use the medicinal, and now I've got it. Okay, on to the next bug. So the next bug we got is if I go over to my plants and push E, I can now craft plants, which is not what you want. So let's go and have a look at that issue. So the issue comes from the craft item uh, function on our crafting menu. Now we need to take use of the is craftable boolean. So put a branch in, connecting up to the is craftable. It's valid and true, we'll go on to check craft recipe and off it goes. So now, because that plant is set as false for that, I go in here, I push E, it won't craft any more plants. Do that again. I go in here, get a pop, and I can't craft any plants. And there you go. So that is the ultimately all the functionality for our crafting UI done. Thanks very much for watching. If you like this series and this episode, head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Lady, where I've got many more videos and many more series available to you to watch, all for the price of $1 a month. So thanks very much for all your support, everyone who's been supporting me on Patreon, as well as those on YouTube memberships. Thank you, everyone. No one, none of this would be possible without you guys. So thank you, thank you so much. In the next episode, we're going to carry on and add some final little touches, such as making uh, some tooltips, and some other UI elements just to tidy up the thing and make it a bit nicer for us. So thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next part. Bye bye.